and welcome back to the kilowatts today we're doing just a very quick test on the uh, performance boost for the non-performance dual motor model y so i've got a little tool here to measure uh, my acceleration and we're going to do a quick zero to 60 run before the performance boost and a zero to 60 run after we actually give it the boost so i'm ahead and hit start we're going to launch in three two one and that's 60 70 75 slow down come back around and again I'm gonna make this video very short just what you need to know uh, there's gonna be a lot of people out there deciding right now whether or not they need this uh, acceleration boost uh, I mean first of all in my impression I've done this in my uh, non-performance model 3 and it's, it feels great but it's not necessary at all so we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot here and see what it feels like with the performance acceleration boost in the uh, non-performance dual motor Model Y. So I'm just gonna get lined up one more time here. All right, lined up with the cameras. There's uh, the uh, times that we got for before we got the boost. I'm gonna reset, I'm gonna go into the Tesla app here. Pay with credit card. There he has a card on file, payment processing, payment complete. All right, the car, I'm gonna have to put it in park. Let's see what happens. When I did it in my uh, non-performance Model 3s, it just happened like that. What's going on, car? Come on. Do the thing. Many hours later. We're back. So we were here yesterday with the uh, non-performance dual motor Model Y, and today we're gonna try the acceleration boost. We added it last night when we were here. Once we got home, and connected to Wi-Fi, it installed, it's got the update. It should be about a half a second faster. Let's go check it out. So, as I mentioned, this car now has the acceleration boost. It should be about half a second faster than the times we were able to get last night. Um, so yeah, I wanna see what it can get. I've got my little V-Box here, and I'm gonna hit start, and we're just gonna do uh, two little zero to 60 runs and see if it's uh, any quicker. All right, here we go in three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, it's quicker. It takes off. All right, that's 75. I gotta slow down. <laughs> that was quicker. It definitely got uh, from zero to 60 quicker. It held the acceleration longer. I feel like the acceleration curve was longer, so I'm really interested to see the, the 30 to 70. But we'll just get one more run and see. That's showing a 4.3 seconds, 0 to 60, significantly quicker. And then the 30 to 70 miles per hour was also quicker. One second here. All right, we're just gonna get one more run. Line up with the cameras. All right, and then the uh, 30 to 70 was a 3.26 and a 50 to 70 of 1.6, excuse me, 1.82. So we're gonna do just one more run in three, two, one. All right, 60, 70, 80. Wow, that is quick. So this is the non-performance dual motor Model Y. It's got the 20 inch rims and uh, we just upgraded for $2,000 software overnight. Well, as soon as I connected to Wi-Fi, uh, it was there. So honestly, it's noticeable difference. Uh, it's great. I love it. Um, curious your thoughts. Comment below uh, whether or not you think it's worth it, uh, whether you think, uh, or not you think it's worth it if you are buying a Model Y, whether or not you think it's worth it if you are uh, leasing or financing a Model Y. I think that's a little bit more questionable. Uh, if you're gonna own this long-term, it's, you know, it's a value add, so. Yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Take care.